Look at that face. Aww, and it's all ahead of her. Sweet. You know, the fame, the heartache, everything right there. <laughs> Lauren with the, her mother now. Uh, this is, uh, you were aged, what, uh, 10? Yeah, yeah, something About like 10, that. About 10, 1954. So. This uh -huh. is a publicity shot with your mom. Yeah. And of course... Uh, Dean Martin. Yeah. And Tony and Curtis. Tony Curtis. Yeah, they were some of your favorites. And you could tell I was grinning from ear to uh -huh. ear. <laughs> You're about 14 there. Yeah. And then at the Emmy Awards. Yes, Jack Benny. I had uh, received the Emmy Award for Jane Wyatt, and uh, I had run downstage without my shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wearing high heels for the first time, and uh, the big tears were I was embarrassed, but it, I was happy. Yeah, but Robert Young picked up your shoes yes, and did. ran down and gave them to like you. Like the faithful father. Yeah. He was yeah. just was wonderful. Nice. Yeah. Yes, that was in, in the bad days. This was... Um, uh, in the days of, of, of Eddie. Of Eddie. Eddie yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now and that's most recent, isn't it? Yes, um, that's most recent. That was. That's my son Matthew and mm. my daughter Summer and mm. of course the blushing bride, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and Robert. And that marriage has since been dissolved as well. Yes, it has. Not not because I wanted it to, but you know, those things happen, and so we pick up the pieces and move on. Lauren, any of the money that you acquired or made as, as a youngster, do you have any of that? Or was that all gone or what happened? M my mother sued me for the money. Um, when I was um, 18 and a half, she started a suit and um, it lasted for several years. I settled out of court with her. Mm -hmm. uh, she got 60%, I got 40%, my lawyer got 60% of my 40% and then I paid the taxes and so nobody got anything. Yeah, right. And we don't receive anything. But you want to know something? Best. You look like you got a lot of strength. You look like you're happy. What keeps you going? How'd you turn it around, Laura? Um, well, you know, uh, I, really I have to say that the Lord helped me turn it around. While I was in county jail, I had met a man who was a Dominican Catholic priest who began to witness to me about Jesus Christ. And I, I didn't accept a word that he said for seven years. Then after I had my baby, something happened. When I had Matthew, something clicked. And I said, I want to be a good mother. I want to be a good person. I want to be all those things that, that Margaret Anderson was. I want my child to be proud of me. And so God was, was faithful to give me the desire of my heart. And that was to be a mother. And uh, then he gave me another baby. And so now I'm a mommy twice. And, and I walk with the Lord. And I've, I've been a born-again Christian for 10 years. And I really think that, that that is the saving grace for me. My children, the Lord, and just lots of good friends. Besides this book, what are you doing now? Well, right mm -hmm. now, uh, I am um, Texas State Director for a beauty pageant. And I am doing that with young boys and girls. And I'm helping them to be able to achieve their goal and uh, help them just to, to show the goods that they have, mm -hmm. you know. But you are a talent. substitute teacher, and as a result, they, they let you go because of this book. Yes, they brought me into the office and said, since you've written the book, you will be an embarrassment to us, and they fired me, you know. Then they wrote on my, my records that I had a criminal history, of which I am fighting them. Uh, I have no criminal history. I am not a convicted felon. And so I'm, I'm right in the midst of a big fight. But let me oh, ask you good. one question, Lauren. Yeah. I mean, you, you went through so much, but only you knew how much you had gone through. Why write a book anyway about it and tell everybody? Oh, Regis, there are so many young men and so many young women that are going through exactly what I went through, and they're hurting. And, and I, I feel that as a personality, I owe my American public something. You know, I mean, they made me what I am. They made me a star. But in, in being a star, you have a responsibility to be a good role model to people. I didn't write the book to expose my sin. I wrote it because there are young girls and young boys that are having to deal with sexual abuse, drug abuse, alcoholism, and they need to know that there's a way out. That they don't you have to stay there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really felt alone. Well, you mm -hmm. certainly went through it all, but look at you. You came out. Yeah. Feeling and looking pretty good. Thank you. Father Does Know Best, the name of the book, written by Lauren Shapin. Amazing story. We thank you very much, Lauren. Thank Thanks you. for coming by. Thank good you to see you. Okay. We'll be right back. We're going to look at some future stuff in a moment. Still ahead on